Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, let's go through some questions around the UiPath remote runtime configuration. So let's see the very first question. What steps are involved in installing the UiPath remote runtime? So it is asking, what is the right sequence of steps? Option A, download the installer, run the MSI file on the target server, and install the corresponding extension on the client machine. So this appears like a right option. However, you need to choose the best answer, the best answer out of four, okay? A, B, request the installer, log off from the client machine and run the MSI file on all remote machines, okay? C, access the resource center, log in, download the MSI file and install on Citrix server. Option D, Download the installer, run the MSI file on target servers, that means RDP machine, log off, log in the remote session after you install the new log off and install the corresponding UiPath extension. Now, if you have gone through my previous video, you can easily answer this question. If you understand, if you have got the understanding, you could really answer this question. Now, pause the video and answer, comment your answer. Okay, I hope you have already commented your option, answer, which is the right one out of this. So let me reveal the answer. The answer here is this one, D. First you download the installer and then you run the MSI file on the target server. Then you log off and log, you know, log in back in the remote session or restart and install the corresponding UiPath extension. This you can find from this particular step of advanced UI automation from the installer First you install it, right? You run it. It needs to be installed on all Citrix application server or VMware Horizon or the Windows remote desktop machine. Now after that, log off from the current session on the client machine and log back in. That means on the RDP unit to restart. Restart, log off, log out like that. This is required so that your changes take effect. Then you install the corresponding UiPath extension on the client machine. So this is the right answer. All right, now let's see the second question which command is used to install the UiPath remote runtime component from the command line. After you have downloaded the MSI file from the command line, how can you install it? That is the question. So here are a couple of options given A, B, C, D. Now this question you may or may not be able to answer until unless you remember this command. So here the command is add. Let me reveal the answer. The answer is add local equals to remote runtime, remote runtime task. Now let me show you practically. Now this command is available in the academy from the command prompt. This is the code. Use the following command to install the UiPath remote runtime. Now let me show you. Now first thing what we have done, we have downloaded this particular file UiPath remote runtime.msi. First you have to travel to this particular location. Okay, so C drive uses Rakesh and download. So this is the location where I have downloaded. Right. So first thing, how to install, wherever you have kept that MSI file, you have to go to that location. Then I'll open command prompt by typing CMD, right click, run as administrator, say yes. And in this window, you have to first write change directory and go to that specific location, wherever that MSI file you have kept. So here I've kept in the downloads. I'm going to downloads, hit on enter. After that, after this, you have to copy paste the command from the academy. So here I am going to copy this entire command and go back to the CMD and paste it. So you, here you can see add local equals to remote runtime, remote runtime task. Now the moment you hit on enter, it will go to that location and open that particular file. You can see the installation file has opened. All you do is accept and hit on install. It's going to install it. Okay, that simple it is. Because I'm doing it on my local system, I have canceled that installation. However, it has to be done on a remote desktop, okay? On the RDP or the Citrix server, you need to do it. So the right answer for this was C. I hope this kind of question and answer sessions are helping you 
to remember to recall and to help you understand concepts quite well so please do comment keep commenting on my videos guys thank you so much for watching let's meet in our next topic